Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, there is a fight coming up at 140 pounds that quite a few of you have mentioned to me in the comment section on my videos, right? This is the fight between Lamont Peterson, who just got destroyed by Lucas Matisse, an unbeaten Canadian, Dieri Jean, right? Now, many of you, including people who know boxing on a very deep level, uh, Big Daddy Buncey of Box Nation, have in the comment section on different videos um, told me their opinion that Jean just looks better on film. <clears throat> that this is a fight that has upset written all over it. I've also gone to oddschecker.com and I've looked at the actual betting pattern. They have it on the site of people looking at this fight. Jean is the underdog, and most of the money is on Jean. Let me just say this. In my opinion, this fight is a trap. There are certain fights that you need to watch from across the street. I believe this is one of them. I'll agree. Jean looks great on film, has a lot of knockouts has a great straight right hand. Looks to be the faster guy, quite frankly, in the fight. Looks to be the better athlete, right? If this were just a beauty contest, no doubt he would probably beat Lamont Peterson in terms of just how explosive he looks in the ring. But, John worries me. There's certain things that I don't see with him. Right first, you've heard me mention the straight right hand. It's great. It's accurate. It knocks people out. But this is the elite level of boxing. Right? I haven't seen John with anything else of that caliber. In other words, he needs to hit you with that straight right hand to devastate you. I get the feeling if you take that straight right hand away from him, I think he has problems. Well, let me just say this. Look at the Lamont Peterson, Lucas Matisse tape. You're going to see that Matisse has a lot of success with a left hook. Right, a left hook. I don't see that level of left hook in Dieri Jean's arsenal. Right, that's my first cause for concern. My second cause for concern is his jab. <clears throat> you know what? I don't see the great jab. In fact, it's worse than that. You know, because a jab will allow you to win slow fights, right? You want to be active. Keep in mind, this fight is in Lamont Peterson's backyard of D.C. So Dieri Jean is going to have to do something to convince the judges that he deserves the fight, right? Uh, obviously, he doesn't have to worry about the judges if he gets a knockout. But let's be careful. People need to understand that Lamont Peterson has faced offensive juggernauts like Amir Khan. Did not get knocked out. Victor Ortiz hit the canvas twice. Not only did not get knocked out, didn't lose the fight. By the way, against Amir Khan, he got the title. Right? In fact, you go through Lamont Peterson's past and you're going to see names like 
Timothy Bradley, right? Kendall Holt, understand, big puncher, Kendall Holt. It was Peterson who got the stoppage, not Holt. So understand that Peterson has faced big power and has survived, right? He knows how to neutralize your plan A. He's done it against world-class opposition. Thierry Jean hasn't fought world-class opposition. Let's get back to the jab, right? Now keep in mind, Thierry Jean, let's assume he doesn't get a knockout. Let's say that it goes to a decision. You know, Dierry Jean doesn't have the jab, nor does he have the volume, right? He's a guy who is lower volume, not higher volume. How's he going to beat Lamont Peterson in D.C. with lower volume and no jab, right? These are just a few things to think about. Let me just say, too, that, you know, you look at Peterson. Understand, boxing's not a beauty contest, right? We don't look at the athletes and say, wow, he looks explosive on film. He's the winner. Well, I believe Lamont Peterson, and keep in mind, I bet against Peterson, on some fights. The uh, Amir Khan fight, Peterson beat my guy in that fight, right? I had Khan in that fight. But I've always considered Lamont Peterson to be underrated, right? He's kind of like Bernard Hopkins. Just watch his head. He keeps it low. He knows how to come forward and tie you up. He has pretty good defense. Defense doesn't look great on film. But he has it. It's that Bernard Hopkins type of defense where you notice his head's low, his hands are high. He's not getting hit flush. He also throws really good short hooks. He's also what I call adaptive reactive. Take a look at the Victor Ortiz fight. You're going to notice that a few rounds into that fight, and keep in mind, it's a fight where Peterson is getting blown out. He's hit the canvas twice. By the way, that was another fight where I bet against Lamont Peterson. I had Ortiz in that fight. I believe there's a video still online here someplace, right? Peterson's getting blown out twice, right? He's knocked down twice. Ortiz is an explosive puncher, right? Ortiz has presence. He looks like an athlete, right? You can tell he has explosive power. And then, of course, Peterson starts making adjustments on the fly, figures out that he can land a left hook against Southpaw Ortiz, right? Starts dropping that left hook into combinations, right? It's high-level stuff. He actually comes back in the fight from a two-knockdown early part of the fight to actually get the draw. That tells me that Peterson is mentally tough, right? Mentally tough. I don't believe Dierry Jean has been tested like that in a fight. Now, let me just say, after looking at film, I would take Peterson in this fight. But instead, I'm going to be across the street. Why? Why? Because Peterson just got destroyed by Lucas Matisse in his last fight. I know the fight happened several months ago. But it was in his last fight. I'm a guy who believes that when a fighter has his career worst showing, Peterson had lost before, but not like that. Right? When a fighter has his career worst showing and, you know, has been stopped in a fight where he hits the canvas multiple times. In other words, it's not a flash knockdown. This is a chronic beating. I'm hesitant in the guy's next fight, especially when the guy is fighting a guy with a big punch. 
So for that reason, I'm not taking Peterson, but I'm not taking the Erie Jean. To everyone here online who is jumping at Jean, to all the people who are listed on oddschecker.com in the betting pattern section of that site as taking Jean, I say, whoa, hold your horses. This guy might be unbeaten, but he hasn't fought. Bradley, Khan, Matisse, Kendall Holt, Victor Ortiz, like Lamont Peterson has. Right? Jean may be unbeaten, but, you know, the guy has limited experience outside of Canada. The guy, quite frankly, is lower volume, fighting in the champion's backyard. The guy hasn't shown me a great left hand. Just hasn't. Right? And when I see a guy who has a great straight right hand, Right, who has one big tool in the toolbox, whether it's this guy or, in the heavyweight division, Deontay Wilder. I wonder what happens when that guy fights elite-level competition, the kind of competition that's been in the ring with Bradley, Khan, Matisse. Right? I wonder what happens when that guy fights elite-level competition that might take away that right hand. Then what's left? So, let me just say, I'm not rolling with the Jean in this fight. If both of these guys show up with their A games, I would expect Lamont Peterson to win the fight. Okay, so for the casual boxing fan, I guess that's my take on the fight. I expect Peterson to win the fight. But to the gamblers... I say stay away from this one, right? Let's allow Peterson to get his feet wet again after being dropped multiple times in dramatic fashion by Lucas Matisse in an early stoppage, right? The one good thing with the early stoppage is at least Peterson didn't get battered for 12 rounds in the fight. At least it was quick over and done with. Nonetheless, I'm sure it was traumatic. I'm sure he spent many nights wondering exactly what happened to him that day, right? You don't want to be risking your capital on a fighter who has just had his career worse outing. Okay, so officially I'm across the street. I'm expecting Peterson, the former champion, to win this fight. Okay, um, but I'm not betting on it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and dwyersportsbetting.com. I understand many in Canada, trust me, I've read the comments. Many in Canada believe that Dierry Jean is an undiscovered jewel. He certainly has generated buzz. Right, my opinion will change if he shows up and dominates Lamont Peterson. I personally don't see it happening, but I could be proven wrong. He does look like the better athlete. I just wonder if he's the better fighter. Thanks for stopping by.